What is up everyone? The LDB is back at it again. Coming at you today with a video on how to get the new exotic holster that was just released in the recent update. Now I would really recommend first of all that you team up with someone or a squad as well. It will make it much easier. Me and one other clan mate finished it in about three hours or so. Just casual play, just going along with it. And uh, you know, so if you have a friend or a team, that will definitely help. Now I hope you all enjoy and find this video helpful. If you do, definitely smash that like button, subscribe for future content. If you are new to the channel, make sure you got that notification bell on, and go ahead and drop a comment down there letting everybody know what you're thinking about this, or if you have any questions. So, let's get into it. Alright everyone, so first things first, you need to simply go to the base of operations, head over to the blueprint vendor and talk to her. She will have a blueprint for you to buy. Go ahead and snag that. Now if we go ahead and look at what it says, there are reports of a museum piece being split up into several pieces. Intel from the local population suggests that one of them is being held by an unspecified hostile faction in the westernmost control point in DC. Find the component and bring it back for further analysis. Now the furthest west control point that I could find was Riverside Gas Station. It's all the way up in the top left over by the dark zone. Um, you want to head over to there again Riverside gas station um, and you can do this on any level control point I would honestly just do it level one to make it a bit faster now once you have control of the control point uh, go ahead and up into the supply room and inside the big yellow box you will find the fast leather belt component completing the first project uh, now make sure that you go back to the base of operations and turn your project in before moving on to the next step which is the level four control points or you will not receive the next set of components that that we need. After completing the first project, you will now be given a second project. Now let's take a look at what this says. Scouts has reported, that should be Scouts have reported, that three of the different components are being held by specific individuals of different factions. Their behavioral patterns suggest that they will only appear near control points if the alert level is high enough. Lure the targets out by getting control points to the highest alert level. Now basically what this is telling us, pretty simple here, uh, to earn the next three components you must complete three level four control points, any control point you would like except it must be one from each faction, one hyena, one true son, and one outcast. Then they can be found in different areas of the map. Now the inverted leather holster you can get from the true sons, uh, the oiled hammer guards you can get from the outcasts, and the ornate leather holster you can get from the hyenas. Now, there is also a weird and kind of funny way to tell if the final boss is going to drop the component that you will be needing, and that is that they will be wearing a cowboy hat. If the final wave boss does not have the hat on, something is wrong. Now, I'm pretty sure if you do this correctly, it is a 100% drop rate, as me and one of my clanmates were both awarded the components the first time on each of these. And when you have received all three components, go ahead and donate them to the project, go back to the base of operations to turn it in and once you do you will be given one final project and if we take a look at what it is uh, it is showdown at the high noon saloon the final piece of the original item has been tracked down it's transported by a black tusk unit the convoy's patrol route has a scheduled stop at a bar northeast of the white house intercept it and acquire the final component don't show up before they do. Now that last part, don't show up before they do, is a big thing right there. Uh, if you show up at noon or you know right there when they're about to spawn, it'll mess it all up. You don't want to do that. Hang back about a block or so and then uh, you know push forward when the time is right. So for this one, luckily my clanmate had heard or seen something about this on the PTS and we went searching for a bar. <laughs> and it really didn't take too long. Now the trick for this is that you must get there after they show up at noon. Uh, if you are worried about what time it is, simply go into photo mode. On PlayStation, I press the options button. You see down in the bottom uh, of the screen there, it says photo mode. Press and hold the square button. And then you can go in there and 
you can see in the top right what time it is. Um, and it's real simple. Keep it like that and uh, just keep an eye on the time. Now, we were just a little bit late, um, but it still worked out just fine. Simply take out the boss and his buddies and he will drop the holster rind. Uh, now, finally return to the base of operations one last time and turn in the project to receive the blueprint. Now, you are almost ready. Make sure that you have a Providence holster and a Petrov holster that you are not too fond of, that you don't care about, because they are required to craft this piece. But now that I kind of gave you a heads up on that while you're doing all those level 4 control points, you have something to look for. Um, or if you have the blueprint for those brand set holsters, you can do that and it works just fine as long as your crafting bench is up to par. Um, so hit the crafting station and make that first exotic gear piece for the Division 2. I wish they would have started with the chest piece but hey i'm really not complaining uh, so let's take a look at this piece and see what it does before we go ahead and sign off all right so when we take a look at this gear piece here we see that it has the three main uh, talents on it and there's a lot of goodies inside of each one of them the first one here sleight of hand plus 20 percent accuracy plus 20 percent stability 40 percent reload speed 400 percent optimal range 20% revolver damage requires a pistol to be drawn and to me honestly this is awesome because I can see a lot of different things that this could be helpful with um, and also I've been looking to do a pistol build as I think that they are very highly underrated and I think that I just found the piece to help me out with that and now moving on down there we have quick draw uh, swapping to your pistol reloads all weapons so right there somebody that's using LMGs or anything like that that is going to help them out a lot um, now if we take a look at third talent here perforator Shots fired from the pistol penetrate enemies. Yep, I guess regular bullets don't penetrate. Just these ones. Um, either way, pistol headshot kills grant 20% weapon damage and allows your primary and secondary weapon to penetrate enemies for 8 seconds. Wow, okay. Um, now, this duration is increased by 11 seconds when you are using a revolver. So... We're all going to be on a lookout for some nice revolver, um, get one of them good rhinos or something like that. It'll probably work out nice and, uh, you know, maybe put a pistol build together. So that is the piece right there. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the complete rundown on the new exotic holster and how to acquire it. Again, this took me and one other person about three hours or so of casual play to complete, and I recommend that you do as well. So as always, if you enjoy or found this video helpful, definitely smash that like button, subscribe for future content. If you are new to the channel, make sure you got that notification bell on, and go ahead and drop a comment down there letting everybody know what you're thinking of this piece, or if you have any questions. So until next time, guys, I hope you take it easy. I will see you then. Later.